first with reflections and an alpha layer. First of all, we need to go into render settings and we need to turn on screen space reflections and open that up and we need refraction as well. And then let's select the glass object and we need a new material and the surface is going to be glass. And the roughness is going to go right down. This will work with refraction nodes as well. And we need to tick the uh, screen space refraction button. And now you see it's refracting it. So now that's basically our glass setup. So how do we get transparency in the background and in like these areas and then have it refract this object behind or whatever objects we choose to put behind. I will also point out that one of the limitations of this uh, screen space reflection, which I'm not sure is, is a bug or a limitation of the render engine, is that these objects have to be opaque. They cannot be semi-transparent. If I um, set, yeah, that's fine. If I set this also to glass shader, and I set the blend mode to be, say, alpha blend. You see, we no longer have refraction in here. And that's true for any of these options. It has to be set to opaque. OK, so I'm going to set that back to a, um, a principled shader. Well, what we're going to do here is we're just going to add a plane. And in this thing, I'm going to click the button Align to View so it's pointing directly at the camera. And then going to scale it up with S. Is this a green screen? And uh, yeah, if I click the Scale button, I can then scale it that way. And if I click to go off camera, I can now see where it is. And going back to Move, I can move it back a bit so it's behind all the objects. This is a sodding green screen. And I'm just going to create a new material which is going to be an emission and I'm not actually going to set it to green. There's no red in this scene and so I'm going to set it to red. All right it's red and it emits light but it's still a green screen. And obviously I need to scale it up a bit so it fills the view. And I know this is going to be difficult if you are planning to have like rainbow colored glass and all the colors in the thing. But this is a very good green screen because it actually emits light. It's not as good as the green screen used in the original Mary Poppins, which was basically separately lit with sodium lights, which are basically the lights in street lights. Have you ever walked down the street under old fashioned street lights and thought, hold on, this is orange, but isn't that like one part red and half a part green? So why am I not seeing like some kind of color variation? But in fact, it's all monochrome. Well, that's because sodium lights only emit light at a certain wavelength and the camera would only pick up that particular wavelength of light. Unfortunately, only one of these cameras was ever built. It was later used in some other films, such as The Bird by Alfred Hitchcock, uh, but it allowed them to use all these colours and this semi-transparency. Oh, and if anybody has got any ideas about how they got this staircase made out of smoke using 1960s technology, please tell me, even if it's just a theory. And now if I press F12 to render a frame, shut that and then swap this out for the compositing editor tick the three things here drag that a bit and shift a uh, mat and we can go go with keying we drop it in we set the key color to entirely red to match the screen thing oh and uh, i'm going to press hold down shift and drag down there add output viewer to there and there you go glass with refraction and an alpha layer i also point out that if you want to do any further compositing that uses the alpha rather than using the alpha here you want to use matte here and it has exactly the same functionality <laughs> If you can think of anything else that's hard to do in Eevee with Alpha, give me a shout and I'll see if I can twist some notes together till it works. 